Welcome to the demonstration video for how to bleed your Auriga and Draco disc brake. To effectively bleed your brakes, you will need the following tools. A 7mm spanner. A T15 Torx wrench. A 4mm Allen. A Phillips screwdriver. Tectro's proprietary mineral oil, a small piece of tubing, a 20cc syringe to hold the oil, and a small rag to clean up any excess spillage. Finally, you want another piece of tubing. an outlet valve included in the bleed kit, a rubber band, and a small plastic bag to collect any overflow. To begin, mount the bike securely in a stand. Using your 4mm Allen key, simply rotate the brake assembly so that it is parallel to the ground. Next, use the T15 Torx wrench to loosen the reservoir and also rotate to parallel to the ground. Then, using the same T15, simply remove the cover bolt for the reservoir. Next, place a piece of tubing inside the plastic bag and secure with rubber band to avoid spillage. Then, simply attach the outlet valve to the reservoir and the tubing to the outlet valve. Next you want to draw approximately 5 to 10 cc's of mineral oil into the syringe. This will act as a reservoir for when you bleed the brake. Moving to the caliper, attach the 7mm spanner to the bleed bolt and attach the hose from the syringe securely on top. Simply turn counterclockwise to loosen, thus creating a flow for the oil. Be sure to remove any air from the system prior to plunging the fluid. Push in on the cylinder to extract some oil into the upper hose and then simply pull it back through to help push bubbles out. Repeat this motion several times to clear the brake and piston of all remaining air. When you feel you've sufficiently removed all air from the system, simply re-secure by tightening the 7mm spanner clockwise and removing. Take a moment to wipe down the caliper of any residual oil so as not to interfere with the brake's performance. To finish the job, simply remove the top mount hose and adapter and resecure the top cylinder. Once you've secured all facets, be sure to test the brake several times. You're hoping for a solid, not spongy feel 
and a full pull of the lever throughout the range of motion. If you're satisfied with the performance of the brake, simply loosen the master cylinder, replace to the original position, tighten, and then lower the brake lever back to its starting position. You've now successfully bled your Ariga Comp brake. Congratulations.